Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and Ooh, Come on camera, it's so dark There we go So I just finished my workout, today was arm day It wasn't actually that bad filming in the gym today I went pretty early, it's 8 o'clock now so I went around 7 And there weren't like a ton of people in there so I was able to pull out my phone and like inconspicuously set it up so that I can show you guys everything I did on today's workout so hopefully that was helpful today is gonna be like a hanging out day for me I'm going shopping I'm going to the outlets in Leesburg if you're in the DMV it's Leesburg premium outlets and the reason why I chose that over Potomac Mills is because or Arundel Mills is because the they have a uh, Salvatore Ferragamo at the one in Leesburg and I really want to see if they have these boots that I've been obsessed with because they're on clearance at Saks. I put them right here so y'all can see them. They're on clearance for like $300 at Saks. Do I need to buy some $300 boots? No. But I feel like if I don't get them now, I'm going to have to wait until they're like vintage and then they're going to cost five times as much. <laughs> and I just really want these boots. They're so nice. I want to see if they actually look good on my foot. I just want to see if they have them there. So if they do, I want to try them on, see if they fit my calf, see if they fit my feet, see how they feel, all that stuff. So we will see if they have them. But it's going to, I need to get some new gym shoes. These shoes that I'm wearing to the gym right now are so old and have seen better days and they just need to be replaced. I'm going to check out the Vans outlet, I'm going to check out the Adidas outlet, and the Nike outlet, and see what they all have. So yeah, we're just going to hang out. I do a full day of eating. Y'all know the drill. It's a fat to fit vlog. Y'all know what it is by now. So yeah, let me go home, get ready, and then I'll meet y'all back in the car when it's time to go. So quick outfit of the day. I have on an H&M, just a normal tee. I like the way these fit. They have like, they just feel good. They're nice and comfortable. It's a short sleeve. This green army fatigue jacket, I've had this for years. This is from Old Navy. I cinched it in at the waist just to give it a little bit more shape. And then I have on some Fashion Nova jeans. These are the size 15 jeans that I've been kind of get, trying to get into. And I'm finally able to wear them. And then I have on some Adidas tennis shoes. Um, I'll put the name of them on the screen. I can't remember. I feel like Surfside something. Y'all, it is already after 10 o'clock. I need to run to the store and get them some stuff to eat while I'm gone. And then I'm going to head to the outlets. If y'all are interested in knowing like how I keep my hair up while I go to the gym, I can make it short for that. So let me know if you want to see that because it's really, really, really simple and easy. It takes me like two minutes to get my hair wrapped up and taken down at night. Oh, oh, I got a package on the porch. Let me take that in. Anyway. We're doing like a quick story time because I feel like this is a message that maybe some of y'all need to hear <laughs> both on my side and on the other person's side. So the other day, my daughter Cody, who is eight years old, if you watch my videos, then you've seen her before. Anybody who knows her knows that she is like super nice. She's super nurturing. She is not the kid that I worry about being mean to other kids. She's the kid I worry about being too nice to other kids and letting other kids slide on things that they do. And when it comes to her, I have to talk to her a lot about her boundaries and her standards for how she wants to be treated and things like that even when it comes to like her interactions with my son who's 10 Kane so this is not the kid that's going to be like disrespectful and be you know rah rah and all that she ain't that kid so I just wanted to preface with that so the other day the kids were outside playing and then she comes in crying and I'm asking her what's going on why are you crying and she says she stubbed her toe then Kane was like, no, I don't think she stubbed her toe. So-and-so was talking to her, my neighbor, and um, that's why she was crying. So I'm like, Cody, what 
what happened like what's going on so long story short she never actually stubbed her toe she just didn't want me to know what was going on I don't know why <laughs> maybe she thought I wouldn't take her side I don't know but um she tells me like once I can get her to calm down first of all she was so worked up she was crying so hard and I could barely like get anything out of her so she told she did tell me that the little girl who this woman it is an older woman in my neighborhood she's probably like between 65 and 70 she has kids who she adopted who were like in her family and she I don't even know y'all she just is a mess but <laughs> the little girl the youngest one that she has is probably in kindergarten first grade I would say she's probably like six um and Cody who is eight and my youngest daughter Corey who is four they were both playing with her daughter with her daughter and Cody said that the little girl had thumbtacks and she was holding them up to them saying that she would violate them which first of all what six-year-old uses that kind of the words like that like what are you what are you teaching your child what's she watching what is going on that aside though she's telling me that I guess she went up to the woman and was trying to tell her what was going on what her daughter was doing and then she was just saying she made me feel like it was all my fault she just blamed everything on me um so I'm pissed now because first of all I didn't give you permission to discipline my child and just know if anytime my child comes and tells me like anytime my child is crying because of what an adult did to them it's gonna be a problem point blank period I don't care I don't care so yeah so I throw some clothes on rush outside march up to her and I'm like what did you say to my what did you say to her why is she crying and then she was like she was trying to like be calm but it's no I, I didn't start out on a 10 but I started out probably like on a six because I'm mad because I'm mad that you felt like you had the right to talk to my child however you talked to her that made her cry like that so then she's like well I told her I did tell her that she need to get her hands off her hips because she's a child and I'm just like excuse me <laughs> because first of all what does that have to do with anything your child is the one that was threatening my child with the weapon so why are you saying anything to her you don't it's nothing that you need to say to her you should have been trying to correct your own child so I'm so mad first of all because I hate when adults do that it's a tactic to try to manipulate a child and ridicule them and make them feel like you're deflecting away from what she actually said to you you should have been disciplining your own child instead of saying anything to my child if there's anything that my child is doing come and talk to me about it and let me just let me discipline my own child second you don't know why her hands were on her hips her hands were probably on her hips because she was nervous or scared because of how you were talking to her you don't know my child's pressure points you don't know how how sense her sensitivities you don't know anything so don't discipline my child I've never given you permission to discipline my child discipline your own child worry about your own child your child is the one out here threatening to violate people so girl I went off on her because I was so freaking mad I didn't even get to say everything I wanted to say because I was just so it was emotionally charged you ever say like basically I just ended up yelling at her telling her don't say don't ever say anything else to my child again period don't say nothing else to her and then um I came back in the house once I was able to like calm down I was able to like get my thoughts together but I didn't I wasn't able to get them together in the moment I wasn't able to get them together before because I went out there so fast but she's completely in the wrong like and I wish that I could have been calm enough to really express everything I just said to y'all in the moment it wasn't happening because <laughs> I was just too worked up but I wish I could have been calm enough and I could have like processed it a little bit before I went out so I would have known what to say because she needs to understand why she's wrong it's not a big enough deal that I'm gonna go back to her now and address it but it is a big enough but at her age she should have enough self-awareness to understand how she is wrong in this situation without me having to say it but clearly she does not so if you're the kind of person who does like does stuff like that first of all stop doing that like you are not if somebody did not give you permission to discipline their child don't say nothing to their child go to the parent like in my opinion that's disrespect you're disrespecting me if you disrespect my child because you know exactly where I live you know where I live I did tell her that you know where I live so if something if, something, if she doing something come and tell me don't don't say nothing else to her you don't have a right to discipline her you don't know 
how I would want you to discipline her. You don't even care, obviously. You don't have the right to traumatize her because she was literally traumatized. She was probably embarrassed because you did it in front of a bunch of other kids. Like, it's a lot that goes into that. So just don't say nothing to her. If she doing anything, come and tell me. Period. Don't say nothing else to my child. None of my, none of my kids. So, but yeah, if you're the kind of person that does stuff like that, you really need to not do that. Like, it's not very many things. Most people as parents, it's not a lot of stuff that... I'm a calm person. I'm not drama filled I'm not the kind of person that want to sit around arguing with people and it's very few things that I'm willing to argue with anybody about but my kids is one of those things like don't do that do not do that like I said that's disrespectful as I don't know what for you to say something to somebody else's child that you wouldn't when they're not when the parent is not there that you wouldn't say if the parent were there if you're not gonna say that to her while I'm standing in front of you then don't say it to her when I'm not there and if you got something that you want to say if I was there, then come and say it to me. My bad, y'all. I lost my battery. My camera overheated. But, yeah, if you got something that you want to say, then come and say it to me. Like, just don't even... Like, let's just not do that. <laughs> First of all, because I'm the kind of person that I'm not going to do things to you that I don't want you to do to me. So, if I'm in if I'm in some kind of conflict with you, it's, mo it's nine times out of ten because you did something to me. If I do something to you, I'm going to apologize for it. Like, if you come and tell me that I did something to you, I didn't do it on purpose. But if I did something to you, I would apologize because that's how I am. And I treat people the way I want to be treated. So, if you are not that way, first of all, we will never, ever, we will never be friendly. I'm very quick to cut people off. I don't like drama i don't like bullshit like just respect me i'm gonna respect you and that's just it just is what it is so that again like i said to me is disrespectful if you feel like that that's okay then something's wrong with you <laughs> because you just feel like you don't have to abide by the same rules that you would like somebody to abide by when it comes to you because we all know that people who got kids people don't play about their kids period I don't play about my kids. I'm sure she don't play about her kids, which is why I wouldn't do that. If your child is doing something, first of all, when kids do stuff, I can get over what a kid does. I can't get over when it, what an adult does. But when it comes to my cho my children, and we've had I've had this conversation with her before, because her older daughter, um, I guess is has developmental issues or whatever, and she was she's much older than Cody. She's probably 13, but she used to play with Cody. And um, then she was saying, like, her and Cody aren't really friends, which I'm fine with, okay. But it hurt Cody's feelings. So I told Cody, you don't have to play with her. Like, if you feel like, if she's making you feel bad about yourself or if she's making you feel away, then just don't play with her. And that is what I like to teach my kids, to set boundaries and to be selective about who they choose to call friends and to be okay with being alone over letting somebody mistreat you. So she was like well please don't let like don't tell don't make them not play together and then she started like she knocked on my door one day and then started crying to my husband like I really want them to be able to still be friends and blah 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 okay then you need to correct your child like why is this hard why is it hard I'm not going to subject my child I'm not going to subject any of my children to somebody else's child who don't know how to act if your child don't know how to act then you should be trying to make sure that they learn how to act and if they cannot figure out how to act <laughs> then I'm gonna tell my child that they can pick and choose who they want to be friends with like you have to have you have to be able to set boundaries you have to love yourself enough to eliminate yourself from certain situations and cut people out of your life who are not good for you and who do not serve you so I'm always gonna teach my kids that I'm always gonna be the parent that's like okay like with Cody I'm like what are your non-negotiables when it comes to friendship and she named them she was like people playing too much when I'm when I said I don't want to play anymore well, I'm assuming you know how kids are they play too much and then she said being mean to her and it was one more thing I can't remember everything that she said but I was like just keep that in mind when you dealing when you are dealing with these kids because if you tell them that that you don't and when they do one of those things tell them that you don't like it and if they don't they continue to do it then they don't respect your boundaries and they're not really your friend period so that's advice that I feel like is going to carry her through life I hope that she continues to think about her non-negotiables in every relationship and cut 
people out of her life who can't adhere to those non-negotiables, who don't respect her enough to respect her boundaries and respect the way that she wants and treat her the way that she wants to be treated. So people just, I feel like this woman is one of those people who doesn't like when people set boundaries because she doesn't want to follow them. She wants to treat people how she wants, however she wants to treat them. And then, oh, I didn't even tell y'all. So when I started getting raw, raw with her, then she was like, oh, we not doing this. We not doing this. And like started walking away. Yeah, you don't want to do it with somebody who is your size. Like you don't want to do it with somebody who's your equal, but you want to do it with, with my eight-year-old daughter. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> so I, girl, she, when it comes to people like her, I'm not the kind of person that's going to give you 100 chances. When it comes to anybody, I'm not the kind of person that's going to give you 100 chances to keep making the same mistakes and doing the same thing to me over and over again. You get like one chance. And this, you get one, maybe two chances. And if I don't even like, if you're not even somebody that I care about, so you don't even get any more chances. You're basically dead to me at this point. Don't say nothing else to me. Don't say nothing else to none of my kids. And we're good. We don't ever have to speak again. That just is what it is on period. So... I just wanted to say that if you are one of those people who does things like that, yeah, you need to stop doing that. And if you are somebody who finds yourself in those kinds of situations as the parent, like your child is, you know, getting into altercations and stuff. When it's me, I like to try to figure out if my kid is the problem. I'm not the parent that's like my child that never does anything wrong. My child could never like, no, that's, that's not who I am. <laughs> I know my kids do things wrong, but I also am the first one to make my children apologize or to ask them to apologize when they do something wrong and to have them take accountability for their actions. And if you ain't that way, then your child probably is causing problems just like her because she didn't make her child take accountability. She didn't ask her to apologize. She just blamed it all on my child, even though my child did nothing in that situation. She was like, well, they do things to each other. Okay. Did you say something to me when she, when she whenever she did something? Did you say something? No. So don't say none to her. If you're not willing to come and say it to me, don't say it to her. And then on the other end, like as the parent in that situation who I felt, I feel like was wronged, um, I wish I could have, like I said, calmed down a little bit and just like really let her know why she was wrong. Like a, like an intelligent read, you know? I wish I could have been like, had the wherewithal in that moment to do that, but I just didn't. I just didn't. I was too upset. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not really your job to teach other adults how to be self-aware, how to take accountability and be responsible for their actions and treat other people how they want to be treated. It ain't really your job to teach people the golden rule. They should already know it. And if you don't at your age, <laughs> then that's a journey of self, of self development that you need to be going on and personal development that have, really has nothing to do with anybody other than the person who needs to be going on that journey. So basically what I'm saying is if you're the person who does things like that, it doesn't, you don't know how that interaction is going to affect that child. Like you don't know how or if it's going to damage them and you don't have the right to damage somebody else's child. You don't have the right to traumatize somebody else's child. Even if you feel like they bad, even if you feel like they do stuff that, you know, they shouldn't be doing, you should deal with their parent because again, you don't have the right to do that. And we all have an experience that happened to us as a child that we still remember to this day and you don't have the right to be that in somebody else's child's life like let them go through life without you causing trauma for them like if they're doing things they don't have no business doing then it's the parent that's going to be able to stop that anyway you're not going to stop them from doing it they're going to do it again as soon as you're not looking like their parent is the one who needs to deal with them and handle the behaviors and you don't know how people like their children to be disciplined and if you were not given permission to discipline any in someone else's child if they didn't put their child in your care if they didn't say if you see my kid acting up you know get on them like if they didn't give you permission to do that then it's not your right to do that and it's not okay to and i feel like things just get they escalate so much because of the parents actions when it comes to how children play and how they like the kids will be playing again the next day or the next week and the parents will still be mad because certain parents are disrespectful and people are not letting that go <laughs> like I'm not letting that slide when it comes to my kids when it comes to adults interacting with my kids in ways that are hurtful and harmful I'm not going to let that go and I'm not gonna let it slide and I am going to say something to you 
Like, I feel like for most people, it's a lot of, it, there are not many things that you would be willing to fight for. But most parents are willing to fight for their kids and they're willing to die for their kids. I know I am. So, like, it's just not worth it. Like, what's the, what do you gain from that? If a kid is doing something you don't like, then I feel like you should be working on your own kids one way or another. Either disciplining your own kids or teaching them how to interact better with other kids or teaching them how to separate themselves if they can't get the behavior they want or if they're not happy with the way they're being treated in certain situations and if you're the parent on the other end like I was then you should probably like collect yourself first before you go and have that conversation so you can really get out the points that you want to get out and you can really be thoughtful and uh mature in your approach to dealing with the other parent but some people are ignorant and it's gonna end up in an argument either way and you and we all know this like some people just are who they are and some people if you come at them respectfully they'll be willing to come to talk to you respectfully in return my only issue in that situation was that you already disrespected me so i'm already feeling the way because you already did something like you already overstepped your bounds you already crossed a line in my mind so that was really why i couldn't just like you know get to the root of it <laughs> in that conversation so yeah that's the end of my little story time hopefully y'all got something out of it <laughs> and yeah i think just don't mess with other kids and just treat people how you want to be treated and that's the moral of the story <laughs> so i just had a thought i am like i said i'm in leesburg but in sterling there is a all you can eat sushi place that i i went to it one time it was really good but it's lunchtime and i can go there for lunch and it's only like 15 dollars for lunch and it's still all you can eat sushi y'all that sushi was so good so i think i'm gonna go there first and then i'll go shopping after that there i'm gonna be out all day <laughs> it is what it is at this point but um yeah i'm excited get some all you can eat sushi is it a good idea to do that before i go shopping probably not but if I go shopping first, I'm going to miss the lunch. And then it'll be like $10 extra to go for dinner. So, yeah. I'm going to go get my little lunch in. And then we'll go shopping after that. So, I'm going to show y'all what I get. They have like this. My favorite roll was like the, I think it's called a volcano roll. It's called Queen's, Queen, Queen something. I'll, I'll show y'all what it looks like when I get there. Um, the actual restaurant is called like Queen Sushi I want to say and the sushi roll that's my favorite it's like a fried it's fried it has like um, whoa it's like they it's like kind of like a, a California roll a little bit not like not exactly the same as a California roll but similar to a California roll and then they deep fry the whole thing and then they put like the sauces on top of it it's so freaking good um, but yeah, I'll show y'all whatever I end up eating and all of that. This is about to be a fun day. <laughs> I love when I get to go out alone. I don't have to worry about having the kids with me. I, I like to go shopping alone too because then I don't have to worry about Bernie being like, I'm tired and I don't feel like walking around. If you go shopping with your husband, like, oh my God. They're just as bad as the kids. I'm here. So it is Sushi Queen, Hibachi and Sushi. This is in Sterling in the Cascades Shopping Center, Sterling, Virginia. Um, there's not... Pretty much nobody else is here. Like, there's only a couple cars in the parking lot. I am so happy about that. <laughs> I need to grab my ear earbuds so I can watch YouTube videos in there without disturbing anybody else. Also, probably need to take my tripod so I can show y'all the food and stuff without me having to hold my camera. And also, I think that's it. So, earbuds just throwing everything into my purse and let's go okay so I was wrong if you come here there's no longer a lunch lunch pricing so you're gonna pay $23.99 no matter what time you come but let me show y'all the rolls. Okay, I didn't have time to like 
basically as soon as I sat down, he came. But they have some, you can order anything on this menu. So you can order the soups, you can order the appetizers, the sushi appetizers, the classic sushi rolls are on this page. You can order any of these entrees. And then here are like all the specialty rolls. So I got a Richmond roll. I got one of those. And then this is the one I was telling y'all about earlier. I got two of the volcano rolls. Not without the freeze, babe. Okay, cool. Not without the vacation. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's the way it goes. I know this feel right. Trying to put you in the light. Trying to put you in the light. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's the way it goes. I don't say goodnight. I'm trying to be wrong side. like take a pause for the cause i had to get in the car unbutton my pants <laughs> like girl that was not a good idea before you about to go shopping but hopefully shopping will loosen everything up walking around will make me feel less my stomach feels so tight right now oh my gosh all right time to head to the outlet get some stuff hopefully i can find some stuff to get just in time because it's starting to rain took my coat off because i'm burning up like oh my gosh it's 73 degrees right now Whew. walk in with these bags they're heavy oh my gosh but we can go ahead and do a little haul since we're here um i did get the white jacket from banana republic i'm still kind of on the fence about it i feel like it's perfect for working out though i feel like it's like the perfect spring jacket um I want to go home and try it on with some active wear and see how I feel about it like once I do that. This is what it looks like. And that jack this jacket was $50. So if you are interested in it, it also came in blue. I think the blue was more expensive though. I think the blue was 40% off of one the uh, regular price was 129. Or 130, 129.99. So the regular price was 130, and it was six, the white one was 60% off. The blue one, the navy blue one, was 40% off. So 13 times six. So this one was like 80 dollars off. 
Yeah, 130 minus 80 is 50. And then that means that the blue one was 13 times 4, 26, $52. So 130 minus 52, 130 minus 50 is 80 minus 2, 78. So that blue one is 78. That's expensive. And then I went in Vans. I tried on a few different shoes. Mm, I didn't like the way that they looked. Like, I didn't like the way they felt. I like the way they looked. I didn't like the way they felt for, like, the gym. I didn't feel like that was going to work for me personally. But y'all know the Vans outlet is always buy one, get one half off. So I did get Corey some shoes. I got her these. They're so cute. It's kind of hard for y'all to see. So it's like the light blue, pink, and orange. She's getting so big. Oh my gosh. She is in a size 11. She has some purple ones in a size 10. So I was like, let me go ahead and get the next size up. Because those are definitely getting too small for her. And then I got Kane some. And I got him these. I let him choose between these. And then there were a pair of like the navy blue suede high tops. He chose these. So... I went ahead and got him these. He wears a size set. He wears like a size seven in, in kids. So I got him a six and a half in the vans. Hopefully they fit. Because vans run kind of big. So we'll see if these fit. If not, I'll take them back and get him a smaller size or a bigger size. But yeah. So yeah. That's what I got him and Corey. And then these both were like $30. So it was like $50 after tax for both pair. And then from adidas i got so the first pair i got was this um but this is actually for kane i got him a pair in a seven and a half i got him some six and a half adidas and they were way too small so i got him a seven and a half this time i ended up giving the ones i bought him to cody and these are really similar to the ones i bought him but now i got he got his own because like i said i had to give his to cody because they were too small but they did fit her so she didn't really need shoes i was looking for some vans for her but i didn't find anything i liked um and then i got the same thing for me same exact shoe so these are like so comfortable i tried these on these felt so good they felt so good like so much better than the vans as far as like training I'm definitely somebody who prefers like a softer training shoe for like working out or walking around. I like when I can do both with my shoes. And then I got the last pair that I tried on, but I got them in white. So this is what they look like. I love them, love them, love these so much. I think they're so cute. And I really, really wanted a white shoe really wanted a white shoe i can't wait to be wearing these in the summertime like with my shorts and stuff it's gonna be so cute like this with the shorts like the um workout shorts and like a whatever top and that little white jacket that's so cute okay so yeah that's everything i got mission accomplished finally got myself some shoes oh and y'all another thing you need to run and get if you want um, some good some nice shoes because right now they have 50% off at the Adidas outlet so the black shoes were only the black shoes were cheaper than 50% off they were on sale for $40 $39.98 and then the white shoes the white and black version of all the versions they had several colors of this white shoe they had solid white solid black and then they had some pink and some other colors and all of those were 50% off of $120 so they were $60 which is really good for like some nice shoes so yeah y'all need to run to the Adidas outlet if you are looking for some nice shoes I think I'm still gonna go to Target and Walmart I'm probably not gonna like do a bunch of damage but we'll see I'm still trying to decide if I want to send back those shorts I tried I had on the other day that I um made a video about the other day I like them but then I ordered another pair well, first of all my husband got home he was like uh <laughs> like where well, you think you're going in those and then when um i ordered another pair so i want to or another set so i want to try those on and kind of compare and see which ones i like better 
because I'm probably don't need both. I don't know. We'll see. I might keep both, but then it's like a bunch more that I want to try from Amazon. So I don't want to keep like trying stuff to see which one is my favorite and then like stock up on those rather than having a bunch of um, different kinds and then I won't reach for the ones that I don't like as much. But those were like the first ones I tried on, so I didn't. I don't want to like commit yet. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna make another video about the other shorts that I ordered because I know y'all want to know too what like which ones are the best or which ones look the best. If you have a similar shape to mine, then it would be probably super helpful to see me wearing them first. Yeah, look at these dishes at Walmart. I just got some of these glass mugs. They're only a dollar and thirty-eight cents. I already have a bunch of these bowls, but I love them. Ninety-four cents. They also have the salad plates for two dollars, the dinner plates for three. They have them in round and square. These ceramic mugs, two dollars. These bowls are just a textured version of the other ones. These are two dollars too. They have the plates to match and the square bowls to match the square plates. Some other mug options, mini dishes come to Walmart <laughs> yeah these are so cute $2.97 it's not real wood it's like a hard plastic but it's so cute they also have the cereal bowls super cute okay so I finished at Walmart just pulled up at Trader Joe's I'm about to run in and grab just a few like staple items that we like to keep on hand and some stuff that yeah some stuff I just like to have in the house because y'all know I don't live like super close to a Trader Joe's so I like to go when I'm near it um so yeah I'm gonna go in and grab a few things and then I'm gonna go home and get in the bed I decided not to go to the movies because it's gonna be super late I'm all I'm already an hour away from home it's almost seven o'clock the movie that I was thinking about seeing started at seven say 710 720 something like that and it's over two hours long plus the previews so it's gonna be like 10 no it's gonna be like yeah 10 something 11 o'clock before I get home and ain't nobody got time for that so yeah I'll do the movies another day today really got away from me it's just flying by